okay so you might have heard about dirty flash custom room i think so and what is that term and when it is used for it means you're using a custom room there's a new update arrived and that custom room is not having the ota updater pre-installed in that case you can simply download the new update and flash that from custom recovery without wiping that and we will do all this process in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end this is Lini Joyce unofficial version and yes this thing is for Redmi Note 11 and the things are basically same. This is the unofficial version I am using on Redmi Note 11 and this device or this custom room for this device got a new update which supports dirty flash. Although one major thing to keep in mind that sometimes that custom room doesn't support the dirty flash thing, the dirty flash process. So what you can do is you can find out that community group and check out if that is supported or not. And if it is supported, go ahead. As you can see, we have the new update already downloaded on our internal storage. What we will do is we'll move on to the custom recovery as quickly as possible. And of course, custom recovery is needed while you flash the previous update. Now, if you want to move into the new update, you of course, you must have the custom recovery pre-installed in that case in my case i'm using twrp as you can see this is the custom home. this is a lineage os unofficial version which actually supports dirty flash that is why i'm using right now because it's by same developer and if i move on here and click uh, simply swipe to confirm flash what you just noticed i didn't wiped anything i will not format data i will not wipe cache or anything i'll simply flash this custom home no data will be wiped and everything is just stable as you can see it's now flashed successfully uh, what i'm going to do right now is i will simply reflash this custom recovery and let me tell you one thing that this is only for this device it's not compulsory it's not not necessary it depends upon which device you are using for example i'm using redmi note 11 which actually doesn't allow you to flash this these custom recoveries pre uh, i mean i just installed a custom room and i have to reflash this custom recovery so whenever i boot into custom recovery the custom recovery will stay because i just reflashed it right now and as you can see i didn't format it data and now i am able to boot into my device i am not wiping anything and if you noticed at the starting of the video that update was with the february security patch and with the news with this new update i shall have the march security patch as you just mentioned at the starting of the video and i'm mentioning you once again the process is same only the things might be different here in my case i'm using redmi note 11 or it is an official version etc but things are basically same i'm just testing this thing for an example i'm just showing this thing with you as an example as you just notice my device is booted also the booting time is so fast because we didn't wipe anything so if i move on to the android version and details you can see now i'm having the mass security patch so basically my device is up Upgraded, nothing is lost nothing is wiped it's very good one thing keep in mind if your custom room does not support dirty flash then if you try flashing that without wiping anything you might face some bugs like like this one you can see camera is working perfectly fine but if your custom room does not support that you might face camera is not for, camera is not working or anything else could be broken so keep this thing in your mind but it is the process and it is a very simple process and this is the meaning of dirty flashing update Updating to another custom room and another update of that custom room without wiping anything is considered as dirty flashing. I hope you got that. I hope you got it. This is it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.